Good morning engineers today we are going to study how to calculate a range of capillary type diaphragm level transmitter in the field of level measurement for that first we need to measure all the parameters such as what is the zero percentage level and what is the hundred percentage level and uh, what is the process gas specific gravity and uh, what is the capillary liquid field sp specific gravity then it is easy to find lrv as well as urv so we seen in the picture uh, the vessel of scrubber having 12 bar pressure in that lp side tapping is uh, located upside uh, which is uh, which is 39.37 inch above the hp side tapping point and hp side tapping point is located downside and uh, what is the process gas uh, specific gravity is uh, 0.84 and what is the capillary liquid field specific gravity is 0.934 the temperature is mounted 6 inch below the hp side tapping point as we shown in the picture and um, zero percentage point is four inch above the hp side tapping point as we shown in the figure so lp side tapping point 100 percentage level is 35.37 inch above the zero percentage level so uh, now we are going to find lrv and urv so what is the formula for lrv is ph minus pl the same formula is applicable for urv also the difference is lrv is used to calculate 4 milliamps and urv is uh, used to calculate for 20 milliamps so lrv first we are going to calibrate the formula is ph minus pl what is ph as we shown before the 4 inch 0 percentage level is above the 4 inch that is 4 inch into process gas specific gravity that is 0.84 plus the 6 inch that is below the hp side tapping point the transmitter mounted uh, height that is 6 into what is the specific gravity of the capillary tube 0.934 we get 8.964 so then we find pl pl uh, we are going to find from the height of capillary tube mounted in the lp side so capillary tube height is uh, total height uh, to the transmitter to the uh, from uh, tapping to the transmitter that that means that is uh, 45.37 into 0.934 the 0.934 is the specific gravity of the liquid filled capillary so we get 42.37558 so ph minus pl so ph is we find 8.964 minus pl 42.37558 we get minus 33.41158 h2o O, that is water column in terms of water column minus 33.41158 in terms of water column the same formula is used for URV um, URV uh, the difference is the URV to find for 20 milliamps LRV to find for 20 10 mill uh, sorry 4 milliamps and urv for 20 milliamps the same formula ph minus pl so in this case ph will be the total height 
of lp tapping uh, from hp tapping that is 39.37 into what is the process uh, gas specific gravity 0.84 plus 6 inch that is a uh, transmitter mounting below from hp side tapping that is 6 into specific gravity of the capillary liquid field is 0.934 we get 36.4921272 so we need to find pl pl of uh, both lrv and urv is same so total height of uh, capillary is 45.37 into liquid fill capillary is 0.934 we get 42.37558 for uh, urv we know the formula ph minus pl so ph is 36.492127 and pl minus 42.37558 so we get urv minus 5.8834528 in terms of water column h2o so if we found lrv as well as urv so what is the lrv minus 33.411 58 in terms of water column and urv minus 5.8834528 in terms of water column this is the method to find range uh, that is lrv and urv for uh, capillary tube diaphragm level transmitter um, this type of uh, transmitter used in uh, gas as well as uh, viscous liquid um, where the um, viscosity of the element is more because uh, when we used uh, other thing like uh, impulse tubing um, the viscous fluid will be filled into the impulse tubing they need uh, get into dried and uh, that property of the uh, liquid will change so it give incorrect measurement so this type of measurement um, capillary type diaphragm uh, level transmitter are mostly used to avoid the uh, incorrect measurement instead of using impulse tube so this is the method to find lrv and urv thank you guys thank you